what is going on guys welcome back to another video so this is more of like a video update on things that are going on around the lab uh, you may have already noticed but i have missed a couple of uploads during the last uh, few weeks and i have been quite busy um, i have a couple of projects that i'm working off camera that i cannot tell you yet but i'm very excited about it and there are also some other things going on uh, one of the biggest or well, the biggest thing is that um, i'm actually moving once again uh, this is going to be the fourth time i move in the last uh, two years and hopefully this is going to be a, bit, a little bit more permanent as i'm actually buying a house so i'm very excited about it and something i'm not excited about is that i do have to move the lamina flow hood again and if you haven't seen what I had to do uh, the last time, I had to fully disassemble the lamina flow hood to get it in the room and then assemble it again. And it is not fun, uh, it is very heavy, and I will have to do it once again, which, I mean, it sucks, but uh, I'm very excited to move into a new place. and. I'm going to build the lab once again. So it is something that if you want to learn how to do tissue culture and set up your own tissue culture lab. Uh, it's something that we're pretty much going to be doing again. Uh, what we're going to be doing together once again. Um, the new house does have carpet, which is not ideal. I may, I think I'm going to remove it and put some floor. I haven't decided on that yet, but I think I'm going to do it. So it's something that you may found similar situations. It's also a house uh, where it's going to be on a room on, and you may have a similar situation you, where you don't really have a place to put your lab. So you, you make sure to follow, uh, to follow the next couple of videos on that because I think it's going to give you some ideas or how, you, how to start your, your own tissue for the lab. Um, so what is going to happen during the next couple of weeks is that I'm going to be quite busy and where I had to move pretty much, well, I had to move everything out of here. And I do have a quite a bit of tissue culture that, I need, that I needs to get done. And I want to get that, I need, I want to get that done before they move. So during the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be very busy. Uh, just moving stuff around. So if you are interested in um, just seeing that, so I want to be making media and then doing a lot of transfer. Uh, I may do some, some live streams. I'm not sure about it. I may do it here on YouTube. I may do it on Facebook. Uh, I'm not sure. I want to let you know later on. Uh, but there's something where I just want to be doing a bunch of tissue cut or maybe live stream maybe an, for an hour or two for a couple of days uh, if you are interested in that i mean we can we can do that and then while doing that you can probably just ask some questions live and then i can just respond to your questions uh, on, on the live stream so uh, for the next couple of days i actually had to get a, read a lot of things because you cannot see it but it is quite messy around here. There is a lot of stuff around. So that's something that I need to sort that out. Uh, I am working on a project that I actually promised to you uh, a while ago. And it is almost, I almost have, I have almost everything. I'm actually working on a DIY, temporary immersion bioreactor. And I have everything except for one thing. And I think that's going to be, that's going to arrive sometime next week. Uh, but I can show you a couple of the things that I have here. So I just want to show like this. Uh, these are the filters. Filter. That's nice. Couple, a few of the gaskets. Um, some silicon tubing. Uh, what else I can show you? I have um, solenoids. I have uh, pumps. Uh, I have two of these. And then I have a couple other things, that uh, some miscellaneous things that are also to connect. But uh, I think uh, this is going to be a DIY temporary mesh bioreactor. 
uh, something that I'm very excited and I say that I was going to do a while ago and I didn't have the chance to get it done until now. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to get that done before the move and then I'm going to set it up on the new lab. Uh, so that's something that I'm very excited about. So, I mean, any, any other than that, I mean, all I have to do for now is just get ready for the move. That's kind of my main thing. So during the next couple of days, I'm going to be making a lot of media and then move everything on it. And then just clean, have everything packed and then move probably about maybe the second week of October or so. So uh, another thing that I want to do I, uh, I want to do a Q&A for the questions. Uh, uh, you have a, a, um, asked some questions on, on the on previous videos that, and I haven't answered those yet. Uh, those I want to be using some of those questions for the Q&A. And also if you have more questions, uh, just put it on the comments and then I will go to it on probably not the black, in one of the next videos um, coming up. So that's pretty much everything. Um, I'm still here. I did was I, I was a little sick, so that's also why I miss uh, some of the videos. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's going to get busy. If you want me to do the live streams, I mean, I am for it. Uh, I think that was going to be fun. And then, I mean, I will let you know. Um, I will let you know whenever I do the live stream. And then other than that, I mean, that's pretty much everything. So I hope you have enjoyed it, and then I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these Tichu Culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at PlantCellTechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.